Hello, my name is Shagun Ologe from OkunPeople.com. Today, we're going to be interviewing Professor Ologe. Professor Ologe, you're welcome. Um, before I start, I've got to tell people that not everybody gets the opportunity to interview his own father. So, um, I'm, uh, Professor Ologe, I'm going to be asking you a couple of questions. It's an honor. You're, you're a great man. The Jambelma International Academy was set up a couple of years ago. And you as chairman, um, you've been influential and you're basically behind what we see today. What experience have you brought into the Jambelma Academy? Having been a lecturer for many years and known all over Nigeria. Thank you very much. Perhaps I should start by saying who I am. My name is Kingsley Oboni Ologe. I was educated here in the village and also in the next village, Ayeturu Bede, at the Provincial Secondary School in Kene, at Amaru Bello University, Zaria, and at the University of Liverpool. Um, the schools that I have attended, particularly the Provincial Secondary School of Kenya, has influenced my life greatly and has influenced uh, the contributions that I have made to the Gentleman International Academy. Uh, there are many ideas which we have adopted uh, which come straight from that background. Thank you, sir. When you look at the environment, do you think people in uh, towns around could be, can afford to come to the school? Uh, I think it, it boils down to the value that people place on education. Um, if people place a high value on education, they will do whatever they have to do to make sure that their children benefit from the kind of facilities that we have here. That is not to say that uh, there is not much poverty around and that the people around, probably most of them will not be able to afford it. But we do have individuals um, who have children in schools abroad, for example, um, where the facilities are probably not, made, not much better than what we have here. And so it's a question of people knowing the facilities that we have and wanting to put their children there. There are Nigerians who can afford uh, the fees that we charge in this academy. Going around the school, uh, we met a couple of students who spoke, told us about the school. And uh, they say it, 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 to them it's like a home. I mean, it looks like home. And, uh, how did you manage to achieve this? Most schools in Nigeria today uh, probably don't look at the... They look at the children more as... Uh, uh, it's more business than, than, than parenthood. But in this school, most of the kids sound like they're really comfortable with the way things are. How did you achieve this? Well, I would have to say that uh, when we were about to start admitting students, uh, the proprietor, the proprietress, and myself, we recognized that uh, we were not experts in the running of a school and that we needed people who would be able to help us, at least to start. And that was why we decided to invite the Catholic uh, Education Commission to come and uh, provide the management for the school, at least for the first few years. And uh, we're very happy that uh, the um, local diocese of the Catholic Church uh, agreed to come in. We signed a memorandum of understanding with them. And uh, they are the ones who provide the principal uh, for the school, they provide the basic management uh, system that is in place. And um, it's because we recognize that these people have a, a long track record uh, of excellent performance in Nigeria and other parts of the world of running schools. And uh, two of my own children went to a Catholic school that was just starting at the time. 
and I'm quite happy with the end result. So um, if, uh, if our children find uh, the school they are attending homely and they are quite happy here and so on, we can take a little bit of the credit, but I think much of the credit goes to the Catholic Education Commission. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, one more question, and it's, it's relating to open people. What advice would you have for young open people, um, especially relating to relating to education, training, skill acquisition? What advice would you have? Well, the advice I would have is probably advice that uh, I would have loved to have myself when I was a young man, um, which is that uh, life is is a struggle, uh, and particularly for us in the developing world and in this part of Nigeria, it's a struggle. And the people who uh, who make it in the end are the people who are prepared to work hard, to struggle, uh, to persevere, uh, apply themselves, because this basically is what we did uh, when we were in. We were going to primary school, secondary school. It was not as if uh, our parents were rich or anything. Um, it was a combination of their sacrifice and our hard work that really made us uh, the people that we are today. So I want to encourage young people today. The opportunities they have are vast. Just with their handset, they have a whole uh, library at their disposal now. They can access information from across the world which you know we couldn't uh, and I think that um, uh, young people of today should take advantage of this you know um, brave new world into which we are uh, where information can be so easily accessed. Thank you very much sir um, it's been nice talking to you sir. Thank you very much. I'm a